Welcome everybody to the North Saginaw Boulevard 24-inch water transmission main community design meeting. I typed the link to the project page in the chat in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, chat is also where you can post your questions if something comes up during the presentation, and then we'll field those questions after Susie has finished. Uh, as I said, Susie Abbey is the Fort Worth Department Water Department Project Manager. Her uh, contact information is also in the chat. And I'm going to turn this over to Susie. Well, hello, everybody. So on the agenda for today, we're going to go through some introductions, do a project overview, um, show you the project area, and then uh, go through some frequently asked questions. So your project team includes the project manager. Um, that would be me. My name is Susie. My last name is Abby. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can reach me at 817-392-8209. Or you can email me at suzanne.abby at fortworthtexas.gov. Our engineering design consultants are Leah Hodge and Preston Dillard with Half Associates. So why are we doing this project? This project is one of two in this area that will bring water to and provide water for new developments in the northern part of the city. The other project that is ongoing right now is the North Point 24 inch water transmission main, which is under construction along Heritage Trace Boulevard, which is west of North Saginaw Boulevard. The project end date is fall of 2022. So the project area, um, the North Saginaw Boulevard project is bound by Heritage Trace Parkway to the south, Bonds Ranch Road to the north, the distance 287 or North Saginaw Boulevard to the east, and South Water Tower Road to the west. This is in Council District 7 and the city's extraterritorial jurisdiction. The Northwest Fort Worth Neighborhood Alliance will be impacted by construction. So the North Saginaw Boulevard 24 inch water transmission main phase 1B will extend from just north of Heritage Trace Parkway to just north of Bonds Ranch Road. This project also includes the design of a transfer station that will maintain water quality and allow the emergency transfer of water between the north side 3 and north side 4 pressure points. What is a water transmission main? Water transmission mains are large pipes that are 16 inches in diameter or larger. Uh, transmission mains are designed to move large quantities of water to smaller distribution mains and eventually to customers. So a transfer station, the new water transmission main that will feed the north side four pressure plane is being built next to an existing line that feeds the north side three pressure plane. The transfer station connects two pipes lines and allows flow to be transferred from one pressure plane to the other. So what is a pressure plane? A pressure plane is an area of the city that operates within a certain elevation range to maintain a constant water pressure. This project is in the north side four pressure plane and the north side three pressure. The north side four pressure plane is in the purple area, and the main extends through part of the north side three pressure plane, which is in the green area. The transfer station will have a pressure sustaining valve that allows a continuous feed of water from north side four to north side three. The transfer of water maintains the water quality in the new main by keeping it moving and fresh. The pressure sustaining valve also allows for emergency transfer from the north side four pressure plane to the north side three pressure plane. How will this impact my property? The majority of this project parallels North Saginaw Boulevard or business highway 287 on the west side. On the north end, the 10,000 block of Saginaw Boulevard, the transmission main will pass next to Bonds Ranch a commercial cow, calf, stalker, and feeder operation. 
also to the west of the project are residential developments as well as a commercial as as well as commercial and industrial development. Construction will not impact property on the east side of Saginaw Bay. This is Highway 283. As for a timeline, this is a design meeting. So the next steps will include advertising for bids for construction, opening bids, city council approval to award the bid to the contractor, reconstruction meeting with the contractor and the inspector, and a WebEx community construction meeting to update those impacted by the project. And construction should begin in the summer of 2023. To get more information on the project, uh, progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website at this link. You can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put in the project number. 102687 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will be linked to the project page. Again, I will be your contact on this project. I'm the project manager. My name is Susie Abbey. My phone number is 817 392 8209, and my email address is Suzanne. Abby at FortWorthTexas.gov. If you need to report an emergency or a non-emergency, you can call 817-392-4477. For emergencies, you can select option one, 24 hours a day, and you can report water main breaks or sewer backups. Uh, the non-emergency call center is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can also download my Fort Worth app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water violation, of water service, water pressure issues, or other sewer concerns. Thank you, Susie. Uh, we don't have any questions in the chat, but if you have a question for Susie, go ahead and say. We've got Kyle, Katie, and a couple of call in users. And Dave. And if you just joined and you want to see another slide, let us know that too, please. Susie, do you want to? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Susie, do you want to go back to the first um, slide? Let's go to slide five. It shows in the project area. There you go. Yeah, uh, Craig, if you just joined and you have any questions, let us know. Y'all are being quiet. We did have some um, concern about the east side of 287, but as Susie said, there, the east side of 287 will not be impacted. Okay, Craig, do you have a question? We can't hear you. <laughs> uh, I said, no, ma'am. I just am scrambling to get onto the meeting. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Dave, do you have any questions? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, we've got Katie. Not at this time. Thank you. Okay. Kyle, how about you? No, not not right now. Okay. And we've got a couple of call-in users. I'm not sure if that's um, someone using the phone and the computer, but we'll give you a chance. 
Susie, did we say when this was going to start? Uh, summer. Summer 2023. Yes, summer 2023. Summer. Okay. So I think Susie also mentioned we'll be coming back to you before we actually start construction with another community construction meeting. And that will either be um, virtual like this one, or it might be in person. It just depends um, how much participation we get. So um, go ahead and put your contact information back up, Susie, just in case someone missed it. And if y'all um, can see the chat, I've put the project page link in the chat if you want to copy that down. To be honest with you, the easiest way to get to the project page is just to go to www.fortworthtexas.gov. And in the search bar on the home page, just type in the project number, which is 102687. And that's the easiest way to get to the page. Because there's a lot of projects out there. All right. Okay. Well, if no one has any questions, we're going to call tonight. Oh, I, I forgot to mention this. The, um, this will be turned into a YouTube video, and the link will be placed on that project page that I just told you about. We also do written summary FAQs in both English and Spanish, and those will also be added to the page. And then, like Susie said, we'll reach out to you when we get to the construction phase, and we'll have a second um, community meeting for you. So if you have any questions at all, make sure you copy down Susie's phone number and her email address. I've got a question. I got one question. This is Jerry okay. Monstio, JLM of Tampa. All right, so when you come off of uh, 287, you're coming onto our property and then across the front of our building there. Um, I talked to somebody when they were doing the survey and will they give us the layout of how much property and how they're going to take that and through our property line there? You know where I'm talking about? Yes. So you're talking about this area over here? I can't see because I'm on a call in. Oh, and so I do know what you're it, talking about. And yeah, we'll we'll be reaching out to you soon showing um the easements, the, the farm line, I with you about that. Um, I will say, just in general, in that area, this industrial area, the design makes it so that we should be able to maintain access. Yeah, the industrial area where you come into the, where the two lane and they took the other property for the four lane. I haven't. I live in Tampa, Florida, so I'm on the day one three four zero four two zero zero five. So, um, I'll just be in touch with then Susie, the project manager, and then um, when you guys get yeah. the finalized, then we can talk about how you're coming through. I think I know which property we're talking about. Is that that property right here coming up from the Heritage Trace Parkway to all the way up to right here? Uh, this point. Yeah, you're tying in from the four lane, the subdivision behind us across our commercial property, and then down our road, and then connecting to the 287. Yes. Right. We, so you, you're you own the both side properties all the way from here to the one wide door, and then you own the other lot going back to 287. So, right. I'm the owner of the Worldwide Door and the JLM of Tampa property yes, there. Yes, yes, I, I know which ones. So from okay. Heritage Trace Parkway all the way to here, and then it bumps to the Ennis, toward Ennis Steel, and then it goes back to your property on the end again to go right. back to 287. So Correct. we talked about here to, to this point. I don't know if you see my cursor, and then back here to this portion. No, because I'm on a call in. So next time, what I'll do is no, I'll I'm be just mentioning to the other the... people if they can note. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, do you guys do you have any specific concerns or anything we need to start looking at? 
Well, what, what we would like to see is on our property is how wide and, you know, the 24 inch. Um, some people said you needed six foot easement. Some people said you needed eight foot. And then, you know, our worldwide door, we'll just have, you know, our business there. We have trucks coming up and down that road uh, every single day that we ship out in and out of there. Uh, a lot of material every day in and out. Okay. So what, what okay. Do you during the construction phase? If you, so if you send me an email, if you have my contact information, you can send me an email. Okay. Is that? What? I don't know if you You're want to walk through what we discussed with uh, yeah. uh, Jerry. Right, Jerry. So we worked with him a little bit on setting the alignment. So hopefully you'll be satisfied when you see it. But overall, we'll be staying outside of roads and maintaining access to all the different uh, roads and driveways in that area. I uh, yeah, that's the same question I have because we are next door to worldwide as a trucking company, so our trucks come in and out all day long. Uh, so I had a similar question, which is I think answered. Okay, thank you. And uh, uh, sir, I can provide the I have a information written down. I can provide to your guy up there. I'm next door to you guys, so. If you need any contact information, I have it written down. We have we have every we have the uh, card here, and the project manager. And then I was talking with the engineering group, who was working on the engineering originally. So, no problem. I just wanted to make sure. When when are you? Um, is the engineering done on the on this project? We are at ninety percent, so not quite done yet. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, anybody else have a question? Uh, the only other questions I, I had is very similar question since we are in the very farm. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far in they're going to pass through on our property because I think the land's coming to our side property and then goes up. And as much as I know, I think there's another survey team be coming to do survey. I'm not sure I understood the question. Uh, Dave, I don't think I quite the question. Well, I guess if I could ask a question, I as I was looking at the satellite map of the project, I see that it's going to go right past the Gold Star Transit, which is all the thing for Eagle Mountain Schools. So I wonder how that would impact, and are you able to coordinate? So that when they're working on this project in front of their driveway, that they've got a way to get in and out of there efficiently. So, just in general, when we have an access road, we plan to bore under. Yeah, we'll be boring under access roads to, to maintain access. Okay. Okay, uh, Dave, did you have any other questions?
Okay. Again, uh, check out the project page. Probably give us until Monday to make sure the uh, summary FAQs and the video are up. And then if you want to share that with your neighbors, um, fellow business members, or the Neighborhood Association, please do. And like I said, Susie Abbey's contact information is on here, and she can answer all your questions. Thank you, everybody.